Hi there, here is the newly launched Asus VivoBook Go 50. This is the new 2023 variant powered by the AMD Ryzen 5 7520U chipset, AMD Radeon graphic card, 15.6 inch OLED display, 16 GB RAM, 512 GB SSD, it's running Windows 11 out of the box and it's priced at just 60,000 rupees, which I think is really impressive for these specs. But for those on a tight budget, there's also the Ryzen 3 variant with the same OLED display for just 43,990. Simply amazing. But right now, let's talk about the Ryzen 5 variant that I've been using for over a week. Let's start with the build. So it comes with MIL standard military rating and has a metal-like finish, giving it a very premium look. Asus VivoBook branding on the lid. Asus calls this a mixed black color that has a matte finish, but still it will attract a lot of fingerprint and smudges, especially if you have sweaty hands like me. The bottom too is very well built and you can see the spot for the air vents and the fan to prevent the laptop from overheating. It weighs just 1.63 kilograms, which is pretty compact for a laptop with a 15.6 inch display. Best part, it's very well balanced. I won't call it thin, but it's not too thick either at 17.9 mm. Talking about the ports, starting from the left, one USB A 2.0 port with two LED lights for battery and low power. On the right is the power input port, HDMI 1.4, one USB A 3.2 Gen 2 port, a USB C port 3.2 Gen 2, and a 3.5 headphone jack. The only thing I miss is that the USB port on this laptop doesn't support charging which usually comes very handy, especially when you're not carrying the proprietary charger with you. Anyway, it's not a big deal. The other thing is that you will need to use two hands every time you lift the lid. The hinge is a little tight. Also, I did notice that it slightly wobbles. There you go. The good thing is it can go all the way back 180 degrees to lay completely flat. Though I really don't know how this really helps, but my guess is if you push it too back, you don't want to damage the hinge. Let me know in the comments below, how does this really help by going all the way flat? So overall, the build quality is definitely impressive. Looks really premium. Let's talk about my favorite part, the display. So it comes with a 15.6 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. The colors are super vibrant and punchy. Blacks are pitch dark, just like you would expect from an OLED panel. It supports 100% DCI-P3 color gamut and HDR True Black 500 certified. 600 nits of peak brightness, which means you can use this laptop outdoors, like at a cafe, or even if your work desk is next to a window, no problem. But it has a fairly glossy panel. The benefit is that the colors look terrific, but the drawback is the reflection on the display, especially in a well-lit room is fairly noticeable. But since the panel gets bright enough, it kind of helps reduce the glare. The bezels on the sides are quite slim, the lower one is just a little thicker with the ASUS ViewBook branding in the center. The upper bezel houses the HD camera for video calls. There's also a physical camera shutter for those concerned about privacy. The video quality is decent and does the job. Some noise can be observed in low light but overall quite clear. Also AI noise cancellation which basically helps for your voice to be heard clearly at the other end which is really important for video calls. Talking about the keyboard, it's a full-size chiclet keyboard with num keys on the right, which come really handy to punch in numbers on an Excel sheet. They are backlit, so you can use them in the dark and in even low-lit scenarios. By the way, you can also adjust the intensity of the brightness or completely turn it off. The top row houses some shortcut keys like volume up and down, increase decrease brightness, and a mic mute button with an indicator which would be helpful during online meetings, especially if you're the presenter. The keys are quite big with 1.4 mm travel, really nice and comfortable to type. In fact, they're very clicky and really good response which makes it so much more fun. Sadly, there's no fingerprint scanner on this laptop and I must say, I too miss it. It takes that extra one or two seconds to enter the password every time you unlock the laptop. Then right below the space bar is the trackpad. It's not centered and more towards the left, but the placement perfectly works for me. It's smooth to touch and very responsive. Supports all kinds of gestures, which makes it a breeze to use. Then we also use the laptop to watch movies and videos. And I have to say, nothing beats an OLED screen experience. The colors truly pop. 
view from any angle and it looks just perfect even in dark scenes the details are so clearly visible watch anything you like it look fantastic i only wish that the resolution of this display was a little higher anyway that's just nitpicking talking about the audio experience the speakers are down firing but as long as this laptop is placed on a table or on a work desk the speakers sound really really good surprisingly loud too the audio has this amazing surround 3d effect giving you an immersive experience i can easily say the vivobook go is an excellent laptop for content consumption let's talk about the hardware powered by the amd ryzen 5 7520 chipset integrated amd radeon graphic card 16 gb lp ddr5 ram 512 gb pcie gen 3 ssd of course this is upgradable it's running windows 11 home along with microsoft office home and student these come pre installed the laptop can handle all your day to day task with ease microsoft office is something that everyone is going to need and use but remember you will need a subscription to access all its features we also ran some benchmarks starting with geekbench 6 and we got 1341 for single core and 4456 for multi core then cinebench r23 we got 2307 for multi core and 1158 for single core and finally pc mark 10 4144 the performance of the vivobook is solid whether it's opening closing apps which are really snappy launching huge files is also really quick we briefly use photoshop as well and didn't experience any problem multiple files open here check this out working so smooth also i must mention images look stunning on an oled display then we also briefly tested the premier pro to edit videos and it was able to edit even 4k videos now keep in mind that this comes with the integrated amd radeon card which is pretty capable to do some basic video and photo editing but if you're looking for a professional editing laptop then my advice is look for a laptop with a dedicated graphic card but how about gaming on this laptop for first we played asphalt 9 look at that it played flawlessly there was no lag or drop frames at all that even played counter strike it worked so well check that out now i won't say this is a hardcore gaming laptop but still it's great for casual games All right, coming to the battery. So this laptop comes with a 50 watt hour battery, and it would easily last me somewhere between five to seven hours. It would also depend on the kind of tasks you're running. We get a 65 watt fast charger support, which is really good. Who doesn't love a fast charger? All right, final thoughts. So Asus has got all the fundamental things right on the VivoBook Go. It comes with a huge OLED display, gets a large keyboard, it has good performance. What else do you want? The VivoBook Go 15 variant that I have is priced at 60,130. However, if you want to save some bucks, you can also consider the one with the Ryzen 3 variant. That's for 43,990. Yes, that variant also comes with an OLED display. I'll share the links for both these laptops in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time. Cheers.